Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon you all, Abdullah Abdul. In Jews number 17, chapter number 21, verse 35, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us a reality. He tells us a reality that many of us, a lot of times, don't like to hear, don't like to talk about. And when we are reminded, uh, we change the subject. Uh, when we encounter this, uh, we think and reflect about that person that had that affliction. And then after we leave the gathering, it may change. We don't remember it anymore. And that is death. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses it in this beautiful, in this beautiful ayah, this beautiful verse, where he says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Every soul shall taste death. And we will surely test you with good and with evil, evil as a trial, and to us you will return. Allah establishes, firstly, that everything on this earth will perish. Allah says that every soul shall taste death. Every human being has a limited time on this earth. We can look at it like that. That every human being has a limited time. So he confirms that everyone will perish and they will taste it. That iqatul mot. And then after that, he shows us, secondly, this life. Within this life span, which is temporary, what he puts in front of us, why does he give us good things and bad things? Firstly, it's for us to remember that what we may perceive as good now may be bad later. And what we may perceive as bad now is good later. And we call that a lesson learned. That's what a lesson is. Something that you may have perceived and that turned out not to be as what you perceived it at that time. That's what we call a lesson. So Allah says here, وَنَبَلُوكُمْ And we will surely test you. And a test is to put something in front of you to see how you will react. بِالشَّرِّ With evil. وَالْخَيْرِ And good. Why? فِتْنَةً as a trial for you. And fitna means, also it can mean al ihtiraq or to burn something. To where when they burn iron, the burning of the iron is to deplete the bad minerals in that iron and the good minerals stay. The good minerals are good minerals because they outlasted the heat. So when you face a trial or tribulation, the purpose of it is to see where you really stand and to see how you will let that evil that has befallen you or that misfortune that has taken you over or that you have encountered, how will you react to it? When you react in a positive nature and you say, جميل, as Yaqub said, when his, old, when his sons tried to kill another one of his sons, Yusuf السلام, when you lose your job, when you lose a loved one, when you lose something that is valuable to you, how do you act? Do you reflect in order to connect to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Everything that we face on this earth is a trial. Do we let those trials increase us in our relationship with Allah, increase us in good, strengthen our faith, strengthen our mental toughness, or do we allow it to let us fall by the wayside to where our status with Allah is shameful because we haven't made any effort? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us of those that when we face these trials in our, on, in our lives, we remember what Allah says here. Chapter 21, verse 35. And to him we will return. To remember that we will return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala throughout all of these trials. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you.